I Thank call the Honourable Member Barbara Stewart. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise on behalf of New Zealand First to speak to the Employment Relations Bill, yeah. Amendment Bill. This bill is already creating challenges even before it's got through the first reading stage. And uh, we have no doubt in New Zealand First that as it goes further through the process, the outcry will be louder. Oh, I'm not reading this, it too. OK, New Zealand First is not going to support this bill. We believe that it's an affront on the rights of workers and we are continually seeing under this government the slow erosion of workers' rights as the anti-worker legislation is pursued. New Zealand First believes that if the economy is going to actually prosper and grow sustainably, then the relationship between employers and employees needs to be appropriate. Employers need flexible, dedicated staff, and employees need appropriate conditions and remuneration. There is a really fine balance between assuring and affirming the rights of workers on one hand and allowing enough worker flexibility so as not to hinder any business's production or productivity. And in New Zealand First, we understand that. And we believe that the New Zealand public also understands this. There is always a trade-off, a balancing act between the two extremes. Kiwi workers and Kiwi business owners know this. The biggest percentage are more or less in the centre. They are very aware that to go to either end of the spectrum is to invite the prospect of workers' strikes or their own businesses failing. And we don't want to see this. There are too many businesses going under. They're already downsizing, closing, and we don't want to see the job numbers fall even further than what they have. An increasing number of jobs is required. We want our young people to come back from overseas to work here in New Zealand. In New Zealand First, we don't believe that there's any demand for these changes that the government is actually proposing. Just what is behind all of these changes? Radical changes are being made and there is no need for them. In this regard, it is like the other piece of employment legislation we had a couple of weeks ago, where workers are going to be paid less, young workers, than the minimum wage. <clears throat> In New Zealand First, we're going to be very interested to monitor this and check whether or not businesses have actually increased the number of people that they have got employed. We are... No, we actually don't believe this. We've already seen numerous businesses come out against this particular, business, uh, this particular legislation. <clears throat> they want to protect their workers. They want to protect their brands against all of the unnecessary nastiness that this government is actually creating. A party that are really cosy with the PR firm Cosby Texter, National has poorly assessed the political risk that businesses are facing when they implement this legislation. <coughs> the bill today <laughs> is another kick in the head for New Zealand workers. But it's also more than that, <coughs> it's seeking to apply a set of rules for which there is already a great deal of flexibility for employers and employees. And in this way, it just goes to show how out of touch this national government is with the small and medium-sized businesses throughout New Zealand. Small businesses have always had understandings with their employees. And will continue to do so. Cafe owners, retailers, electricians,
petrol stations, they all expect their staff to go the extra mile when it's busy or they're faced with a deadline. And the staff are, by and large, obliging. And that is expected and it is appreciated. <clears throat> this government is discussing employee strikes, union action, and trying to create a level playing field. The employment relationship is never a, le a level playing field, and it never can be. It's about collaboration, and it's about working together. <clears throat> If we look at the strikes, they're usually with large corporations, and they're corporations that employ numerous people, corporations which have the resources, the ability, and the nous to be able to cover the rostered tea breaks. This bill isn't about improving business, it's about the National Party actually pandering to their extreme right minority at the sake of the more moderate majority. As parliamentarians, we are expected to represent the views and the interests of people, yet how many of us here could truthfully say that we don't expect a tea break at 6pm? We expect it, we want it. We need it, a dinner break. We definitely need it. Once again, this government is showing how out of touch it is. It's attempting to pass legislation for which there is no need and it does not exist in reality. Once again, they've under misunderstood the working relationships in small business businesses, excuse me. And once again, they're pursuing an anti-worker agenda where most businesses are content with the status quo. Right. For these reasons, we are very pleased to be voting against this bill and all of the challenges that it's going to create in the workplace. Thank you. Have we finished? Oh.